Hi guys, it's Sophie. So we're starting this vlog in bed. Um, I have decided that I want to film a vlog reading two big fat books I have. This is one of them. This is Neurotribes um, by Steve Spilberman, I think. Um, and I also have up on my shelf up here, can you see it? Far from the tree, which is nearly a thousand pages long. And I know that lots of people, me included, get quite intimidated with reading big books. And I thought it'd be fun to do a vlog where I read those two big books. I may well read one and then read a short one in the middle and then read the other one. Um, but I thought it could be fun. I might even try and find, when I've read the two, like a third one. Um, but we'll see how we go. So I haven't started yet. I've literally just finished the book I was reading. And I'd said to Tom which one should I read. He picked Neurotribes. Um, and I said I would check in, so I haven't started yet, but we will follow along on how I got on with this one. Hello, so it is Tuesday evening. I am reading Neurotribes. I had the dentist today, so I got to read a little bit of this in the dentist, and I read a bit of it before I started work. So I'm on page 80, I'm actually not doing badly. I'm really enjoying it so far, it doesn't feel, it doesn't read like it's a really big book. Um, it's very compelling. Um, essentially so far we have looked at the author, he's a journalist, first kind of seeing autism rise and um, he thought it was a problem, not like a problem, but like a, what do you call it? Like a pattern, probably a pattern, um, among um, children and people who were very intelligent. And he was like, huh, Silicon Valley seems to have lots of children who are autistic. He did a piece and it kind of went a bit viral and he was like, oh, there's way more to this. Um, because when he'd first heard about um, children who had autism in Silicon Valley, he'd known it as like a really rare condition. Um, and we've just started following this lovely family um, in a, one called The Boy Who Loves Green Straws that's talking about one child who's autistic and all of the different odd treatments his parents were kind of advised to take him to with very little benefit. Um, it feels very compassionate and well written so far. So 80 pages in and it not really feeling like I've gotten started is a good sign, I think, for a big book. Um, yeah, I'll keep you updated as I go. Hello, so it's a couple of days later. I'm on page 152. I read a bit last night. Not very much because unfortunately I had a lateral flow test come up positive. So I've had to have a PCR done this morning and we're self-isolating until it comes back. So that caused a bit of drama last night and it meant I didn't have time to read this morning, but I've got like a fairly busy day. So I'm going to take the half hour that I have now and carry on. We've moved into um, Hans Asperger and his role in like Nazism and, and stuff. So it's quite heavy at the moment. Um, but yeah, I still feel like I'm doing pretty well with this one. And I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit. Um, and I'll probably let you know, probably tonight, I was supposed to be seeing one of my really old friends tonight and I obviously can't, so that's really sad. So I think I'll have a relaxed evening of reading instead. The other thing that really sucks is it's my hen on Saturday. And at the minute, I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to go if the test PCR comes back negative because I've tested within 48 hours of my lateral flow being positive, then I can go out. But if it comes back positive, obviously I can't. And if it hasn't come back, I can't. So I'm just really hoping it might come back tomorrow rather than on like midday through Saturday because we're going in the day, we're supposed to be going in the day. Or if it comes on Sunday, it would be a pain, especially if it comes back negative on Sunday because then it's wasted for no reason. We'll see how we go. I'm trying to keep positive, but I'm going to do a bit of reading now. So, it has been a while. Um, so, my PCR... I've got a really bad spot here. Ignore it. Um, my PCR came back negative, which was good. So I had a false positive on the lateral flow. Um, we were out all day Saturday for my hen. We went to Alton Towers. It was great fun. Then Sunday, Tom and I had our bands ride, and we were both knackered. So I just done a full week of work, did the clean on the Friday really long day at Alton Towers and I really just like we slept in the day and just completely vegged out um but I did manage to read a bit of Neurotribes last night um and I read a bit on my lunch break today so I'm now at page 400 and that feels like I'm getting that now I'm getting through my first of the two chunky books I have 
Um, I did find about page 300, it started like lagging off a little bit and I was like, oh no, am I not gonna be able to finish it? But it's just because it was a bit I wasn't as interested in, but it's kicked back off again now and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've just literally just finished work, so I've still got my like jacket on. Um, but I'm going to have a shower and then I'm gonna read a lot more of Neurotypical, Neurotribes, <laughs> Neurotribes tonight. Um, I've really enjoyed reading a bigger book, like whilst you don't get the satisfaction of finishing one sooner, I found that like, obviously I haven't had to spend as much money on books because I'm reading this one and because it's non-fiction and it's long, it reads a lot longer. Um, so I definitely feel like I'm getting my bang for my buck. So yeah, I th don't know if I'm gonna finish it tonight. It is like 600 pages long. So I've still got another 200 pages to go. But I might try and read 100 pages tonight. And then Tom's on another late tomorrow night. So I might finish it tomorrow. I'm thinking about adding another book, another third big book um, to my pile. So what I'm gonna do in a sec is go on Instagram and ask people for their favorite long read non-fictions um, to see if I could pick up a third one to do this vlog with. I know I've not filmed like anything around it and it's because I've been so busy, um, but this week is a little bit quieter. So I think what I might try and do is do a bit more vloggy style stuff um, through next week when I'm reading when I'm reading the book. But I'm gonna go have a shower now because like, like I said, I just literally just finished work. Um, and pop on some slightly comfier clothes. Though I do think this jacket's really cute. Um, and I'll see you guys in a bit. I am having fun and I'm looking forward to what you will think I should read. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I post there like semi-regularly um, and I occasionally do like um, little stories and stuff. So if you want to follow me there and tell me what I should read next, um, when I next do something like this, please do. Uh, it's always in the link in my bio along with um, my Patreon. I haven't had a chance to make anything on Patreon for a while, but at the minute I'm trying to like I'm saving the Patreon money up to try and buy a new camera, like a vlogging camera, because I'm vlogging way more than I am doing sit down videos now. Um, so that's exciting. So I'm kind of have a little bit of a goal. Um, yes, I'm gonna go get my shower, get changed, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hello, I ended up filming my wrap up, but I've just sat down and read another chapter of Neo Tribes. Um, do you like my shirt? It says away from my desk, I don't know whether you can tell. Um, yeah. So I asked on my Instagram for some recommendations from people and you guys gave me such good recommendations, like absolute just amazing recommendations and I don't even know which ones like to choose from but I was like come on do it. So I'm going to stay on the same theme because Neurotribes and let's go. I'm making a really like CBA dinner. It's a CBA type night. I've got chicken and chips and microwave peas. Um, but Neuro Tribes and Far From the Tree, which is my like scarily big 1,200 page one, are both medicine related, um, as are two of my other books on my TBR. So I thought I'd go for another one and I actually ended up buying two. <laughs> um, so the ones that I went for were The Sackler Family, which is about oxycodone, oxycodone um, and the opioid crisis. And I also got We Are Our Brains, which doesn't fit into the category that I'm going for, which is 500 pages or more, but you know, still probably a beefy one um yeah tom's tom's away as i said so it's just like i can't be bothered to cook myself a proper meal tonight i'll do it tomorrow night it's just like it's one of those mondays where you're just so depressed it's a monday um that i just can't be bothered so i'm gonna have my can't be bothered dinner um and i'll chat to you about how i get on i'm really enjoying neurotribes so far morning my voice is so gone this morning um but i'm just about to start work and i just finished neurotribes I had about half an hour to read it this morning i really enjoyed it i gave it five stars i think it's an excellent in-depth view of the history of autism finishing up with a little bit of detail of where we are today um, I'm probably going to read another couple short books before i read my next long one so i might not see you until maybe the end of this week um, and I will catch you with the two books I've bought and the big boy that we saw just a minute ago.
Hello, it is the weekend and I haven't read anything yet but I think I might get to another big book this weekend so I thought I'd take you around with me. Um, I'm not feeling ideal today, it's definitely not Covid, I've taken a Covid test um, but I've been doing some crafty stuff this morning, trying to sort my wedding shoes and I have this little jam jar that I need to decorate and I can't for the life of me get any of the stuff I own to like make it look nice so I'm going to go to the craft shop quickly and try and find some bits. Um, yeah, chat to you when I get home. So this is what I've ended up with. I just stuck these on with some adhesive um, and then I sewed on <laughs> this little thing on the end. It's a bead, but I was just like, oh, they look a bit boring. They're literally ASOS's basic white trainers and these are my in case of emergency for the wedding. Um, my shoes are currently really uncomfortable, so I think these might end up coming out at some point. Then this is the little pot I've made, it's just a jam jar and some hessian um, and we're just going to have a couple of pens in there. Rather than having a guest book we're going to use my work board um, and I'm going to put a little bit of hessian around that when we get a bit closer in the week before and some ribbon um, and we have like little postcards um, that people can write a little message on. Um, yeah I think that's about as much as I can do today because I had to do some work printing um, which meant that my ink has all run out making these look a little bit more cheerful. Look alive, little flowers. Um, yeah, so that's what I've done so far. I'm gonna play The Sims for a little bit. I'm just feeling really like tired, like really wiped out. Um, so I'm gonna play a little bit of The Sims and then, shall I show you what I'm reading? I'll go show you what I'm reading in a sec. So I'm actually most of the way through Pop Song. Oh, don't lose my page. Um, so, and I'm really I'm really enjoying it. I think because I'm a little bit tired, I'm maybe not taking it in as much as I want to. Um, so I have the first few I kind of started out with some underlining, so I think I need to get my pen and that'll make me read it a bit better. Um, just because my brain's a bit fuzzy. Then I started, I literally just read the first chapter of I Contain Multitudes. But both of these are fairly short. Um um, because I'm feeling a bit blah, I'm hoping that I might get a bit of reading done over the next couple of days this weekend. Um, it's half twelve now. I'm just going to play The Sims for a little bit just because I've literally since half eight been doing wedding stuff and I was not supposed to. Um, so I'm prescribing myself some Sims. Um, I will chat to you guys when I sit down to read these in a little bit. So it's really raining outside, feeling really, really tired, I played like half an hour of The Sims and I have a sandwich and I'm going to read some more of Pop Song and then I might try and have a nap. Yeah. It's really annoying, I think it's really horrid as well because with Covid I think you assume everything is Covid but I had a PCR on Friday because obviously I had a false positive, that was negative. I did a lateral flow on Thursday, which was negative, and I did a lateral flow yesterday, which was negative, so there's only so much kind of testing you can do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to read a bit more of Pop Song, um, and hopefully see how far I get through that with my lunch, and then maybe have a little sleep. So I've had my nap, I'm still feeling really under the weather, I just did another Covid test and it's negative, so I'm pretty sure it's not good. I'm just getting paranoid. I think it might be the start of tonsillitis, which I have quite a lot um, because my throat's really sore but and I'm really tired, but I haven't got runny nose, I haven't got a cough. Um, I don't think I have a temperature <laughs> I can test. Um, nearly finished pop song. I'm on page 250 um, and it is 10 past four. So I'm gonna sit here and read for a little bit longer and finish this one off then I think I'm going to move straight on to I Contain Multitudes um, but I'm really tired so we'll see how I go. Um, I'm hoping I might stay awake until like eight now like it's only four out four, three and a half hours and then I'll go to bed for the night. Um, Tom's on a long day so I haven't seen him today but I was feeling rubbish yesterday as well so <laughs> he's been really sweet sending me nice little messages and stuff. So I am playing The Sims this is our little garden. Um, oh, I'm in the next door. This is the house. Um, the man that she's living with 
it's upstairs, but he's an alien. They have two little alien babies and she's going to, she's pregnant at the minute, so she's going to have more babies. Um, but I want to try and achieve one of the achievements. So if I go to achievements, discover 10. Okay, so we've found three. Um, she has a rocket ship so I can find others, but the other one I want is somewhere in here. Double life. Have an alien disguise marry Sim without knowing the secret. So I'm going to try and do that with one of their babies. Um, so that is why I have so many alien babies in case some of them are found out. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing at the minute. Just called Tom, which was nice. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna just play this for a little bit longer. I'm still enjoying it. Just gone six. I've got some veggie bolognese and I've just started on I Contain Multitudes. This doesn't count as a long book. I think this one, yeah, it comes in about 400, sorry, 350 pages. Um, but I think it's gonna be a quick read. Um, yeah, I probably won't update <clears throat> again later today. Um, because I'm probably just going to read and then go to bed. Um, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I finish this one. Probably won't be tonight, but maybe by the end of tomorrow. Um, and I'll chat to you soon. Good morning, guys. It's Sophie. Uh, it's Sunday morning. I'm feeling a birthday. Um, just making some coffee. Um, Bodger's been back. The badgers have been back. Um, I think badgers, there's so much damage that wasn't there yesterday and they've torn out our fence, they've taken down a, like a panel of our fence um, at the back of the garden. I imagine that food is getting scarce at the top but I'd be surprised if that was one badger, that feels like maybe a whole family of badgers. Um, so that's something to tell Tom when he wakes up. Um, yeah. I kept reading I Contain Multitudes last night and I got to page 132. Um, this much of it, hang on, is notes, illustrations. So I'm probably about halfway through. And there's a little section in the middle too that's um, like photographs. So I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to have some cereal as well. Um, and hopefully finish this one off. I don't know what to do about the badger. Like I think we need to replace the fence now. The back, but they have just they just worked their way in, so they're gonna keep the doors up closed. They're gonna keep coming back until until we can stop them coming back, basically. Um, cool. I've been reading for quite a while. It's now half past nine. Um, and I am on page 191 if I contain multitudes that's the end just there um and I've decided I'm gonna make some brownies we tried to make brownies not that long ago um but it just didn't go very well we didn't have any cocoa powder and we tried to like kind of hack it but then it just didn't work very well and Tom said it bless him it set the oven to completely wrong temperature so it burnt on the top and then it wasn't cooked at all so we had to try and do that as well not all in all they just turned out really rubbish um but I must go to sleep and I thought I would oh, I thought I would make some today I'm definitely feeling a lot better um than I was yesterday what else do I need Foster can you help me what else might I need? I haven't got any vanilla essence left. Um, I think I might do them with oil. I quite like doing brownies with oil rather than butter. I probably need eggs. How many eggs do we have? I'll take these. So yes, I'm going to make these quickly. I'll put the oven on to preheat. And I will just turn around so that you can see me making them in a sec. I just realised after I just put the camera down on you that um the recipe was on my phone which I'm filming with at the moment um so I couldn't show you me making them but they are made they're in the oven they're really quick um I just made a cup of tea and I thought I'd just quickly talk about I contain multitudes um I'm enjoying it a lot so far it's essentially looking at the relationship between animals insects all kinds of things 
um, with their like microbiome. So like the bacteria that lives in your teeth, the viruses that live inside your nose, um, and like every little species has their own little colony of different things that live in different areas of their body. Um, yeah, I'm sad I didn't like it on audio. I think I'm gonna return that audio book. I just didn't like click with it that well, but I am enjoying reading it physically. Um, I think I said I'm on page like 190 now. Yeah, I'm on page 191. And there are 260 pages, so I've only got 70 pages left before I pick up my next big book. Um, it's now 20 to 10, Tom is still in bed, um, but I expect he'll be up at about 10ish. I'm getting quite tired again. I feel much better than I did yesterday, but I'm still just like not quite there yet. But I think rather than it turning into a cold or like a proper tonsillitis, I might have beaten it back a little bit. We'll see. I'm going to cross my fingers and tap on wood. <laughs> um, but yeah, it feels okay so far. So I'm going to drink my cup of tea, read for a little bit more. And then maybe when Tom's awake, I might go play The Sims. He's been playing a game called Conan and I've been playing The Sims and it means we can at least sit with one another. Um, but yes, a little bit more reading first. So here's the result of the brownie. I think this one looks a lot better than the last one we did. I've come to sit with Tom, who's awake. How mm. are you, Tom? Tell the people of the internet. Brownie. I'm very good. Okay. Long day on the ward yesterday, which was crazy. Um, but yeah, and Sophie's feeling a bit better, which is lovely. I'm also eating my brownie and carrying on with I like, Contain Multitudes and then I'm probably going to play about The Sims. We just tried to de-badger our garden again, but <laughs> must be like hordes of them. It's not just Bodger this time. <laughs> See you guys in a sec. I've just finished I Contain Multitudes. I'm feeling quite a lot better. I tried to have a nap, but it didn't work, which is pretty typical for me. Um, yeah, I like this one. I It's kind of everything I was expecting, to be honest. I feel like I wanted, like, probably more of what exactly the thing it wasn't going to give me. Hi, darling. More like, this is what you can do to make your microbes healthier, but it doesn't really work like that. Um, so, because I finished my next short book, I'm going to move on to my next long one. So I've got two long ones, two short ones left. So the plan is, this one's finished, read a long one, read two short ones like I just have done. And then on to my final long one. So I wanted to just show you what it is. It's with FODs. So the next one they have is Far From The Tree, Parents, Children and the Search for Identity. This is my whopping great book and I'm a little bit tentative about starting it. It's also pretty small text. Um, I'm going to go sit downstairs to start this one. I don't know too much about this other than um, it looks at children that are different to their parents. Um, I don't know whether anyone would have noticed but a lot of the books I'm reading are ones I've taken from the Welcome Prize um, long and short lists from years before, just ones that appealed because that was kind of the niche I'm reading in at the minute. So Foz and I will go downstairs and get started on this one. Tom was successful at napping so he is asleep at the moment. So it's 8pm and I haven't really read much, I'm only on page 19, um, but we did manage to boys, we did manage to catch up on Love Island which was good today. Um, got about an hour before I need to go to sleep, so I'm going to try and read a little bit more of this one. It's still really early, it's Monday night, <laughs> but I've gone to bed with my book because I'm excited. I did loads of wedding-y stuff in my lunch break today and afterwards went and got my bridesmaid's shoes um, and like sorted invoices and stuff. Um, so I haven't read yet, apart from a little bit this morning. I'm just really enjoying getting into it so far, so... Um, the book is kind of formatted into lots of different sections of the ways that children can be different. So the first one he goes through is Son, which is his own story um, about being gay. And a little bit about the background to why he's kind of doing this work. And the next one is about deaf people. Um, looking at like culture to deaf people. And that's as far as I've got. I've literally just started reading that. I'm really excited um, to read this next chapter. It is an old book. Uh, there's definitely some old views still trapped in there but I think I feel like the intention's good and while some of the language and terminology's changed like I think 
the chap there's one chapter um on trans people i think he's calling it transgenderism throughout which is a bit like it's not really something we well, not something i've ever i've heard said in more like recent times um but yes i'm enjoying it thank you for everyone who recommended this one to me as my next chunky book it's far from the tree I'm sure i've shown it to you already but just in case it's far from the tree um so i'm going to get back in i'm only 50 pages in this one is a beast this one is let's see the page count 960 pages long so we're just getting started but i'll keep you updated as i go and hopefully i've got a good couple hours at least an hour and a half of reading in good morning guys it's not even 10 past 7. it is tuesday morning i've got some nutella on toast and a coffee i had a really early night last night i was asleep by like nine um so i was up early this morning um and i'm going to carry on with far from the tree um it means i've got nearly a whole hour to read before i start work um i've got a weird day today like full of like team meetings and then i've got to go to the doctor when i finish work so i've got to like travel it's like 45 minutes away a bit of pain um it's gonna be an odd day so i thought i'd check in this morning and say hello um and i'm still reading the chapter um about deaf people so i'm hoping i might finish that one this morning um the one after looks like it's called dwarfs so that will be the next chapter that i'll head to um but we'll see how i get on i'm gonna have my breakfast now good morning guys <clears throat> it's wednesday i didn't really get to read that much last night i had my doctor's appointment straight after work i had a little cheeky trip, trip to waterstones um when i'd finished about five um because i was in a town that had one that was very exciting um and then i came home by the time i got home we'd had dinner we'd I chatted to my brother, loads of stuff. Um, it was like eight o'clock. So um, yeah, I kind of read a little bit last night. Um, I have started now. I'm really scared. This table's like not very steady and it spilled my coffee yesterday. Um, I've read to page 208. So I'm currently on the section about people who have dwarfism. And I don't have very much time this morning either. I've only got a quarter of an hour, but I'm hoping just to finish off this chapter. I've also really badly bitten my tongue in the night, um, all down one side, so it's really sore. Um, so I'm going to get some bonjella on that in a minute. But yeah, I'm not going to talk too long just because I've got like a really big swollen bit down the side of my tongue and it hurts to talk. See you soon. It is after work on Wednesday. I've just opened up my book. I bought some nail strengthener because my nails are absolutely rubbish. Tom is here. He's not very well. <laughs> He's had what I've had. Um, I can speak now though, my tongue's feeling a bit better than it was this morning. Uh, yeah, just because I wanted to check in. I am planning on just sitting and reading for a lot of tonight. I feel like I've just done loads of stuff and this weekend is really busy. So yes, on to a chapter on autism. Um, I've read, finished the one that I was reading about dwarves and I've read the whole chapter on Down syndrome last night slash this morning. I really like both. Um, so yeah, interested to carry on. Really am enjoying this one. It's long, but doesn't read long at all. Monday night, in bed. It's about eight o'clock. <laughs> Rock and roll. I've got much further through Far From The Tree. I'm on page 400 and the actual text is 700 pages long. So I'm more than halfway through. Um, I've got a shiny thing on my chin there, look. Like an old smiley face. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I read through, since I last spoke to you, The End of Autism and Schizophrenia. And I'm now reading about children who have multiple severe disabilities. Um, I definitely think the length is helped by the chapter formatting, in that you're only reading, ever reading about that thing. I don't know what it is. It must be the reflection on the light. Um, but you're only ever reading about one thing for a short period. Um and it seems quite like he's trying to take into consideration the people who are sort of disabled as well as the parents so it is a kind of parent facing book um we've had a really busy week just like every single evening this week i've had to do something to the cats of the vets which was traumatic they, they think foster might be really stressed <laughs> which really really stresses me because she doesn't seem that stressed at home but because when she's at the vet she's so aggressive um, they don't know if she's stressed at home. 
So I'm going to try some feel away before we try cat antidepressants, but she seems okay at the minute. Um, and then tomorrow morning I am going to Bath, I'm going to do my wedding dress fitting, um, and then it's my grandma's birthday, so we're going to go round to see her. Um, my grandma was diagnosed with cancer not that not that long ago, and she's going through chemo. She's on a break at the minute, so we can see her. But that'll be nice. Um, and then on Sunday, I've got my makeup trial, and we get up to pick up our bands from the church. So it's a little bit of a busy weekend. So I thought I'd just spend. See, she seems okay. She's going in. Um, I thought I'd just spend some time this evening just totally relaxing in bed with a book. Hopefully got two hours of reading just to myself. And yeah, I'll check in. I'm going to take the book with me on the train. It's quite big to carry around all day with me. I've got quite a lot to carry around all day with me. Um, I'm still probably going to take it though. Yeah, I think I'm probably still going to take it. I've got a little collection of books up here that I'm going to haul at some point soon, um, just do a little mini haul. Um, because I'm reading bigger books, I'm not really buying that many books. I think that'll be my August haul, it's just like those six or seven books. Um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys, maybe on the train, maybe in Bath, who knows, maybe at my grandma's. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll see you soon. I'm definitely enjoying this one. I'm going to do the same as I did last time and read a couple short books in between my big books um, when I do finish this one. Hello guys, it's been a long old day. <laughs> it's ten to nine. Um, so we went to Bath, you saw me on the train, reading a little bit, and I tried on my wedding dress and it fits, which is nice. Oh, it was my final fitting. And then I went to see my grandma because it was her birthday. It seemed to be doing okay. Then I went to my uncle's house um, because his girls are being my bridesmaids to try on all their bridesmaid stuff. Then came back home then I did the gardening <laughs> did the lawn and stuff so we got in about six finished that about half past seven had a dominoes just for time purposes more than anything else and then from finishing dinner till now I've been um captioning my last video my latest video and replying to comments and I also did a little bit which I haven't done in ages of requesting things for a review. I've kind of got out of the habit of doing it and I was very awkward when I do it so um, yeah I've kind of tried to get myself to request a few things that were on my like excited for that haven't yet been released um, and I'm gonna go upstairs now I need to take my meds I'm an hour late on meds um, and I'm gonna read for probably a couple hours because meds only take a couple hours for me to like probably kick in but I'm tired it's been a long day and then tomorrow morning I have my hair and makeup trials, I've had to wash my hair for them tonight, um, so that that's all there. Tom's given up and sitting with me because I was just doing YouTube admin um, and he's gone upstairs to play games. It, normally I do like a couple hours of it in the week when he's on long days, um, sometimes I do it in the mornings when he's not up yet, um, but I just literally, I hadn't even applied to comments for two weeks, isn't that terrible, I didn't realise it had been that long. But because I was not very well last weekend, literally just spent it all in bed. Um, that was when I was supposed to do all my pre-filming for you guys and get everything ready so that I had videos up over the next period, which obviously didn't happen. But we've done it. <laughs> we've come up to date. It's been a really busy day. So I'm really looking forward to just crawling into my bed. Foster and Bramble seem okay. They had their jabs yesterday. I don't know whether I told you that. Um, Foster's just tired but they seem to be alright. She sometimes gets like really 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 tired but she's just a bit grumpy and doesn't really want doesn't really want love. So yeah I'm gonna go upstairs. I didn't read too much on the train it was only a 25 minute train journey so I didn't go all the way to Bath I just went to where my mum lives um, but I finished reading Prodigies um, which was a section on children who do like sorry who exceed the expectations of their parents and this is like I think quite an interesting thing to talk about briefly before I go climb into bed. I was really bored by that entire chapter and I just wanted it to be over and that can sometimes be the death of a long book like I said to Tom when I left this morning I was like do I just take another book and I think if I'd have taken another book 
it would have been so much harder to like get back into it again um but I've managed to get back into it and I've got through it and it wasn't that long and it was fine I just didn't find it interesting um and I was actually toying with whether I skipped it and I think sometimes I do actually and I don't talk too much about it if I do that but sometimes I'll be like a portion of a non-fiction book that I'm like okay I might like skim a little bit of it but if it's not just not something interesting particularly in this kind of stuff where it's like lots of different set things that don't all feed in really you don't have to read every single one but because I was doing my 500 pages or more I was like no you have to read like every page that's the whole point um but yeah maybe that's like a controversial tip but I would recommend if you're reading a really long book particularly non-fiction fiction doesn't really work and there's a section you just aren't interested in just don't read that section like carry on that's fine I do it a lot with um essay collections where they are talking about an author I'm not familiar with or a book I haven't read um but I'm interested in the rest of the collection I'll just skip the bits that I'm like I'm not probably going to get anything from this and it's just going to have spoilers in it um yeah so I'm now into the section about children who are conceived um from rape um which is a very different tone to the rest of the book it's all been disability related so far um and this just feels like a completely different way to look at it and then the next chapter is crime so that's like another really really like move away from where we were um yeah so i'm i'm on page 500 so i've only got 200 pages left it's now back to the length of being a normal book um so i'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow afternoon i expect when i've been made up and washed it all off um, and when we've got our band's forms back and sent them off i might have done a little bit more wedding planning because it's just endless um I wouldn't do it again like if I was getting married knowing like if I was getting married for the first time now knowing how much work it's been I wouldn't do it like <laughs> really sounds terrible I'd get married but I wouldn't have all the fuss I probably wouldn't do the party I'd just be like let's just go out for a nice meal everyone afterwards um I'm sure it would be lovely but it's not something I've enjoyed terribly much it's not something Tom's enjoyed at all um and it is a lot of work and effort for like one day so yeah i'm gonna go upstairs take my meds oh someone's knocking at the door see you tomorrow so i've had my wedding makeup trial i have to keep it on um to see how it wears it's 2 p.m it took ages so i haven't read anything else but tom is back he's eating a sandwich <laughs> sorry <love>. oh. <laughs> um so i'm gonna sit and read i've got a cup of tea um i'm not very good at having lots of makeup on so I don't know how long it's going to last. You look beautiful, darling. Thank you. Um, yeah, hopefully just a chill afternoon, I think. We've got a couple tiny bits of wedding stuff we need to do, but I'm pretty much there, so relaxed. I'm going to get on with this one. I am just about to start the chapter on children who commit crimes, um, so hopefully I enjoy that one. Hello, guys. It's Monday lunchtime, and I've just finished Far From The Tree. It's a big old chunky book and I really enjoyed it. I feel like that one was so long, you had the like proper long book experience of like a little lag in the middle that you had to get over. Overall, I really enjoyed it. Um, I definitely think it was helped by the segmenting of different diagnoses or like different aspects of, I was, of children. My camera's like really blurry. Did that help? Um, yeah, I think that was really good and found that really like helpful getting my way through it. Um, it feels like I'm reading it for ages, but I think it's been one week, which isn't too bad. So it means I ended up with like at least 100 pages a day. Foster's very happy. Foster, <laughs> what's up, darling? Why are you, what's, what's going on? Hey? Um, I haven't got too much longer left of my lunch break, um, but I will catch you when I start to read Empire of Pain because I'm definitely going to read a few short, I'm going to read some fiction next, I think. Um, I'm definitely going to read a few short books before I start my next long one, just for that like sense of reading accomplishment. Um, and also because I've been buying books, I've kind of got a little bit of like a backlog. I think another book's coming today. Um, and I've also asked for some for review, so I need to kind of like get through a few books before I start my next long one. Um, but I am really enjoying it so far. Um, I have to do loads of wedding -y stuff tonight. Tom's gone back to work. He was off for all of last week. Um, but he's back to work today, so I've got plenty of time this evening to get stuff sorted. Foster is incredibly happy. She's very pleased with herself. 
I'll see you guys again soon. I reckon it'll probably be like maybe this weekend by the time I get around to reading my next long book. Um, so we'll see how we're doing when I speak to you then. Hello guys, it's now the end of the week, nearly, um, and I've read my two buffer books. Tom's about to come home. I saw a really old friend today and it was lovely. Um, we just came and had a chat for ages and it was lush. Um, yeah, because I've finished my next two books, here we go, Empire of Pain, the big one. Um, I feel like this is a lot of pages. Okay, it's like, it's like 560 pages, so technically the last one was bigger but this is hardback and we all know that paperbacks seem to run longer than hardbacks so I'm gonna get started um I have a fairly chill weekend knock on wood um coming up so <laughs> I have wedding stuff to do but Tom's out all day Saturday and whilst I'll be doing little weddingy bits it's not like loads and loads and loads of stuff um so I'm hoping I'm gonna get some good reading done so I will say say just hello and goodbye for tonight um but I'll catch up with you guys in more detail about what I'm thinking as we go through. I have actually read a little bit but it's Saturday morning and I am knee deep in wedding stuff. I made a template on this site called template and I don't think I can print it so I'm making it in word but I have a donut to keep me through. Um I've also filmed and uploaded a video um but I need to wait for like 24 hours so that my subtitles can be drafted. My lovely friend brought me these yellow roses when she came round. Um, so I'm going to sort wedding stuff out. It's quarter past 10 and then probably read, hi baby girl who's on heat. Hi. Probably read this afternoon with this little needy lady. Um, so I'll chat to you in a little bit. I thought I would talk to you about the empire of pain. Foster and I are having a lovely cuddle and I'm like, a hundred odd pages in? I'm doing really good though. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like the story so far. We are following three brothers who all trained as doctors and had like an entry into the pharmaceutical industry through the like creation and market or marketing really of Valium and Librium um, and also Thorazine. Um, which are all treatments for people with mental health conditions. Well, not treatments, but drugs that help support people with mental health conditions. They were marketed very aggressively. The drugs had addictive potential, and Arthur Sackler, who was like the patriarch of the three brothers, was like an ad man, basically, as well as being a doctor, but more of an ad man and kind of downplayed it. We're now into the next generation of Sacklers, and they released a like slow release morphine tablet for people who were dying of cancer so they didn't have to stay in hospital and then decided when the patent ran out they needed something else and now they're looking at oxycontin um it was if it was a book that was a bit like slow to get started i was a little bit worried it might have been um so like biography based that i might not like it as much but now we're like getting into it with like court stuff and I think we're about to have a story of like one of the first people who goes on Oxycontin. I'm starting to enjoy it an awful lot more. Um, I'm not mad it's a long book so I understand why maybe the beginning was a bit slower but it nearly put me off like I was nearly like oh is it gonna be like just very biography based and not about the impact um, but I think it's changing a little bit now. Um, it is two o'clock on Saturday I spent until about one o'clock doing wedding stuff, because um, it's three weeks today now, so not long. Um, Tom is on a long day today, and we're going to his parents tomorrow, so we haven't got lots of time this weekend to sort wedding -y bits, but we're kind of like getting towards the end now, it's really nice, I'm really looking forward to kind of feeling like we've got most stuff kind of s s sorted. Hi, boys. Hello. You want attention? Um, yeah but that means I have all of this afternoon to read and whilst I have had a pretty busy morning I filmed as well from the video this morning um I think this afternoon is gonna be really chill I've also been she's so sweet you're so sweet yeah 
happy. Um, I've also been playing around with Storygraph. Um, once I figured it out, I'm, there's a few things I'm not a fan of and I need to spend some time because I'm a bit of like a perfectionist. So if the system wants me to record something, I want to take the time to like mark every book I own as owned and stuff like that. But like I have a lot of books that I'd need to mark as owned. Um, and I also want it to be reflective, like some of the books that I had owned, I've got rid of. So I want to have my owned books be like the books that are in this house. Um, and I also don't want to put audiobooks on because I want owned to mean like physically owned copies of books. So that could take ages. I think I probably have, God, probably 300, 500, maybe 600 books in the house, I, I guess. Like that's quite a wide guess, but I would say at least 300 books um so i imagine it might take me a while i mean i've read nearly 200 this year so maybe it is close to like 600 um but i really want to do it i love doing stuff like that so i think what i'm gonna do today i, I like i'm so geeky with like data and like simple stuff like that that then just like makes everything nice it satisfies my brain so much if i could spend all day doing that i probably would um so i think I'm going to read some more for another like half hour, hour or so and then bring my laptop down here. Um, I need to choose songs for the wedding. I think I know what I'm walking into. Like, like not the marriage, but like I think I know the entrance music for when I wander down the aisle. Um, but I've got to choose two other songs, one for the like signing, the witness stuff and one for when we all leave. And I kind of want to have like, because we're not going to, I think we're not going to have an organist in the end. We're going to go for recorded music. Um, so I think I kind of want like modern classical music. So I'm trying to choose some of my favourite like covers or like artists and stuff that um, I like that have that vibe. But it's not just like pac Canon. Though Tom likes pac Canon, so maybe. Um, maybe that will be the one for when we leave and then I can just go when it starts. Um... It's Sunday morning and I have my final total of 821 owned books somehow <laughs> in this house. It does not even feel like I have that many. I can't believe I thought I had 300. But it's done. I'm just going to keep it up to date now, which is pretty easy because I normally add on Goodreads. I add books to like owned TBR anyway. Um, and I'm pretty sure that there's a little like tags. Yeah, so then I can just keep tagging. The ones I haven't read yet as own TBR and not let released as books I want to read but they aren't out yet so I can't buy them whereas my to read pile wherever that lives probably on the front page somewhere um is books that are out so I could buy them oh it's here I, these books are out so I could buy them at any point if I wanted to um yeah I think I've got the hang of it um exciting can't believe i have 800 plus books in this little tiny cottage hello guys i've just finished empire of pain it's monday morning and i thought i'd just recap my thoughts on this one um i definitely think it's a slow burner from the beginning to the end to kind of see the impact of the action um but i did like it a lot and i'm glad it was the length it was because i think that helped with like the indignation building throughout the reading experience. Um, I'm going to finish the vlog here because these are the three big books that I have read. Oh my goodness, it's probably been like two, three weeks, hasn't it? It's taken a while to get through them. Um, I definitely am really glad that I did this. I tend to read books that are like under 300 pages and making myself read three that were over 500 pages was really good fun also been really good for like my book buying balance um because whilst these are a little bit more expensive they read like it seems to read a lot slower than like if you were reading two 250 page books um so yeah i've really enjoyed the process of doing it um hopefully you've enjoyed watching this little reading vlog over quite a long period of time it'd be interesting to hear in the comments down below what books you would choose if you know you needed to read three 500 page plus books in a month it's quite a lot it feels like i've done quite well um and i'll see you guys again soon probably after we are married i don't think i'm intending on filming anything else um so i will say goodbye just a little break from booktube um for the next the next three weeks 
the week of the prep, the week of the wedding and the week of the honeymoon. Um, so yeah, I will see you in a little while. Look after yourselves until I see you again. Love you lots. Bye.